Hey folks, Leducium here, playing some Dark Souls. Alright, so you'll notice, maybe, that uh, not only do I have 35 hours into this character now, uh, but I'm also level 50, so I've been leveling up, and I did a whole bunch of stuff, including uh, getting this armor, and running around uh, Anne Orlando a whole lot. Uh, I got Quaylog's Fury Sword, which uh, looks awesome. It looks like a spider leg. So I made that from the soul of Quaylog and a bunch of bubble gum. And we stuck it all together and we ended up with this sword, which does awesome fire damage. Like so. Also, I found out at one point that <laughs> fire uh, Firemancy. Pyromancy. Actually, Firemancy uh, makes about as much sense. Uh, Firemancy. <laughs> is really good. There we go. And will let me kill these guys relatively quickly. Because I was having a bit of trouble with them before. Not a lot of trouble. But they were still kind of a pain in the ass. Now I can kill them with relative ease. So I've been doing that for a couple of hours or I don't know maybe an hour uh, and leveling up. And why did I decide to level up? Because I wanted more pyromancy basically. But the nice thing about pyromancy is it's not really tied to your stats. So if I look at my statistics here, um, it's not tied to any stat like intelligence or faith, which I have learned is used for sorceries and for miracles, respectively. Instead, pyromancy is just tied to how much you upgrade your flame, which uh, your pyromancy flame, which I had to go back to Blight Town for, which really sucked. There was a lot of running around and some unfortunate falls to my death, but eventually I did all that, and here we are. So, I did level up my attunement. That was one of the things I was leveling up because I wanted to have both the fire orb and the great, great chaos fireball. That's it. And, uh, yeah, what else did I do? That was it. So, how did I find out about all this stuff? Well, I cheated. <laughs> Basically, I didn't cheat. I looked at the wiki for some of this because uh, I was having some trouble with this area. I was a bit low level. And, um, more importantly, I was trying to figure out kind of what I needed to do next and where I needed to go, and a lot of the comments and suggestions for this area suggested that I have this stuff equipped, and that I have, uh, basically all these things, and now I do. So, now, with all that being said and done, um, there is a thing that... I can do and again I looked it up I actually looked this up when I had first noticed or lost the uh, fire keeper at Firelink Shrine and I've actually been practicing both backstabbing and parrying with these guys but I'm not very good at it yet but I think this is an area I can come back to later uh, to practice nope don't do it I'll actually go back. So what I'm going to need to do eventually, I know where the boss is, and before I fight the boss, there is an optional fight, and that's the guy I rescued from the gargoyles, or from the gargoyle area. He's the one that killed the firekeeper, that son of a bitch, and stole her soul, and took it to another world, I guess. Took it to his world. So I'm going to try to get it back, because I want to... Uh, I want to have the fire keeper there, and I actually like Firelink Shrine, and I like having that bonfire in that place. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, and I don't know why, I'm just kind of running around leveling up. I need to do this and do it carefully without taking damage, so I have my Estus Flasks. In fact, what I should do is reverse hollowing, and I might... Alright, of course I'm going to run into problems there. I might get invaded in the process. But, I'm going to do this, equip humanity, and use, actually, I'm going to use a double humanity first, a twin humanity, use item. Why? Because I'm going to reverse hollowing, yes, then I'm going to kindle this bonfire so I have ten. Estus flasks. No. Kindle, yes. I'm 
And here's the big question. If I use a humanity now, can I kindle this bonfire some more? I hope the answer is yes. Alright, uh, I guess I can. Screw it. Uh, I'm gonna probably lose this humanity, which kind of sucks. And I hope I don't get invaded in the process. Which I guess can't necessarily be helped. He can parry, or at least block really well. But I can backstab eventually. So I'm gonna save as much as I can. So that I can go fight these guys. Uh, which guys am I talking about? Yeah, so I could go fight uh, Lorak, and I guess he's got two NPCs with him. And I'm going to. Hopefully. Ah, shit. Well, that's why I got ten Estus. It's okay. Nope! Ah. So you get free having such a shitty weapon. Actually, it's pretty good, I think. I've gotten both the spear and the sword from these guys. His drops have been farming him for a little while, so, and I've gotten their shield. So, all's good. I'm not going to fight this guy because he doesn't attack me, so I don't need to fight him. So, I'm going to just leave him be. Instead, I'm going to go up this way. There is a Titanite Demon in that uh, room that I just passed, in that right area. And it took me about 300 lightning bolts, or not lightning bolts, uh... Standard wooden arrows, so take about 300 of those. But eventually I killed them. So, I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> and I was able to use some of that Titanite to upgrade my weapon. And in fact, I could upgrade this uh, one more, and I might as well, because I really like this sword. And I think it actually, the more humanity I have, the better it scales. So, I'm going to go, there's a blacksmith here. Um, which is cool. And I'm gonna go to him and have him upgrade my sword mm -hmm. once more. So I can reinforce weapon, playlog fury sword, and yeah, I'll use these demon titanite. Now, I know they're probably hard to get, but I think it'll be worth it um, in the long run. And then, eventually, what I want to do is start leveling up, because uh, I've already given up on finding people to help me with this stuff. I didn't see any summoning signs anyways, even back there. Um, eventually, what I'd like to be able to do, there should be a guy here, from what I've noticed. There he is. Oh, shoot. What looks like swords at me. Come on. Come on up. all these guys dead. There's a summoning sign. I don't know if that somebody's... I hope I don't aggro these guys in the process because I don't want to fight them or no. Alright. Feel the black eye orb quivering. Okay. Shit. Did I aggro that guy? I did. Is he going to come up the stairs? Probably. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this and equip... Black Eye Orb, and I'm keeping my humanity there, I guess, in case I need healing. Um, and I just realized I probably won't be able to use Estus for healing, because I'm going to try to invade this other world. 
but here it goes. Invade Firekeeper's Killer, yes. I'm doing it here. And I hope I don't have to use my humanity too much. But if I do, so be it. And my goal is to pummel these guys with fire. Holy shit, okay, that's just the thing. So they're gonna attack me. So my goal is going to be to pummel these guys with fire to hopefully kill them as much as possible. Let's see if I can use the columns here to my advantage. run until I can equip something better. Okay, fire orb will have to do. Is he almost dead? Yes, he's dead. Okay, one down. Do I have to kill these guys? Souvenir reprisal. Maybe I don't even have to kill them? Okay, I didn't even have to kill him. Good, wow. All right, fire keep a soul. Ring of favor and protection in humanity. Cool. All right, that was awesome. Oh shit, I got a bunch of humanity. That is really good. All right, I'm gonna get rid of it before I accidentally use it, so I don't need it there. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter what I put here. That was really good. Uh, so I got the fire keeper soul and I can use it to restore the fire keeper all right so now I'm getting invaded uh, which is I guess bound to happen so what do I do do I fight the invader or do I not fight the invader and uh, try to I don't know, make it to a bonfire or make the boss. I'll just fight the invader, screw it. You know what? But maybe I could get Solaire to help me. So if I run over here, because if I'm going to lose my humanity, I might as well do it this way, right? And hopefully Solaire doesn't aggro these guys. Oh shit! Don't do it! Don't do it! Run! It's not worth it. All right. I don't know. Solaire is probably gonna gonna get killed. Or just fight that sentinel dude. All right, whatever. Solaire can have fun. I'm going cl back closer to the bonfire, so in case I get killed, I just spawn over there. I should do is I got an awesome ring which will allow me to hide my sound. Loose poise wearer produces no sound whatsoever. So now he can't hear me. He's down there and Solaire's down there. He probably sees me but he can't hear me. So that's kind of going cool. So again, I'm just making life more convenient for myself so I can retrieve my souls if I get killed. That's my thought process. I don't know if that's the right one. I've left Solaire to, uh, to his fate. And he was vanquished. Now I'll just wait for that guy in this general area. Maybe I can summon some other help. Here we go. Come help me. That would be awesome if I if I can summon this guy right as uh, the other guy runs in here. 
And yeah. Maybe he can actually help me with the boss fight afterwards. Although Solaire is gone, so like the mask. That's kind of cool. Um, summoning fail, succeed. I have no luck with summonings. You guys saw I got that one summoning for the Iron Giant, and then it didn't work out anyway, so. Actually, now that I'm here, I can unequip that and equip this ring, which boosts my defense versus physical attacks, which I don't know if that's the best one. But yeah, so there's a phantom running around. He's probably looking for me because he probably started out somewhere here or checked here. Didn't see me. Didn't expect me to go around him. See if I can get a summon. Uh, he's got bleed. And I'm not doing much damage to him. That does damage. That was a good fight. Uh, indict this invader? No, that was a good fight. And I think that was fair. So there's no point in uh, indicting them, I guess. I don't know. Maybe indicting people is a good thing. Because it makes uh, other people go after them. But fair fight. Okay. So that was cool. I got the... Uh, Firekeeper soul, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Now, more humanity would be nice because I have a feeling I'm going to end up using up a lot of it. Oh, yeah, I have one. I forgot. So I did use one, and I guess I didn't lose it because I died and regained it. That is good. So I can go human and uh, and go for the boss, but I think... Uh, yep, it's a message I left there. I think what I want to do is clear the path... To it, and I haven't even tried fighting those uh, giant guards that are down there. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, learn this area a bit more. This is kind of where I, yep. Yeah. I'm taking way too much damage, I think. I'll have to just do this over. I should. Save my... What should I save? I should save my crap for, um... For, um... For the boss, but I, seeing how I don't know much about the boss... Here's what I'm gonna try to do. Whoa, okay. I didn't think you could do that. I'm gonna try to clear out as much of this area as possible, hopefully without taking too much damage. Oh, come on. I'm doing terrible against these knights now. There we go. We finally got a backstab in. Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. My goal is to make it to the Sentinels without taking, I don't know, damage from the knights or maybe... Only one Estus worth. And at the same time, I could level up if I needed to. So, uh, make it to the Sentinels. Try to clear them out. Then I can run back here. Unhollow. Go get Solaire. Maybe summon some help. 
and you try to go for the boss. I would think there would be. God damn it! I would think there would be help hanging out by the boss room. Yeah, I'm doing terrible against these guys, but I don't want to use my spells if I'm going to go for the boss. Because I wanted to save as much spell damage as I can for the boss fight. So, this might be a while. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Backstab you, son of a bitch. Kinda wish I had more stamina. But, also more vitality. See, that should be a backstab. And I'm getting greedy. Alright, this is alright. I can live with this right now because then I just have to kill this one guy and the other one guy <laughs> that's very descriptive this one guy and the other one guy come on don't get stuck in the wall come out here I don't want him aggroing the other guy that's in there Don't do it. I like this shield. I like the other one I had too, actually, for that matter. But I can't figure out. I couldn't parry with that one uh, because it's the eagle shield or something, but it's it won't let you parry. So I had to switch out for this one. Now here's an interesting fact I realized. Uh, first of all, actually. This isn't an interesting fact, but those spear guys are much easier uh, than the sword guys. Uh, but here's an interesting fact I realized, and that is that by the time this video goes up, chances are Dark Souls 2 will be out. I'm recording this towards uh, uh, the end of February, but uh, by the time I get it posted, yeah, Dark Souls 2 will probably be out, which means... A, that nobody will be watching this, and B, that uh, there probably won't be anybody playing either. So, uh, if I'm still haven't beaten the game by Dark Souls 2, then there's a good chance that I won't be able to find uh, people to do co-op with. Although, that's not true. I mean, there's got to be somebody out there, right, who is going to want to do some co-op. That thing is crazy. Come on up here. Come on. Come, on. come, 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 come. That's how I talk to my dog. I'm like, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, damn it. I hate these knights. The spear guys are a lot simpler. Knights, not so much. Remember, drop shield, bring shield back up, move. Backstab, move, swing like a butterfly, dodge like a bee. I think is how the saying goes. Ah, damn it. Luckily, just one more hit. Maybe. Uh, my SS doesn't even heal me all the way. Shit. Okay, I'm going to try fighting this guy over here. And hopefully I don't lose all my souls, because I really, really don't want to lose all my souls. Yep, and I have to use up my Estus. I want to fight him away from the other guy, because... Oh, he can do that. That's right, I forgot. Now this shield is better for this, I think. Because I'm not going to be parrying him anyways. And there we go. Nope. Didn't work out. I 
Found out that if I run through his legs... Oh shit. That's new. Shit! Okay, they have, this guy has an AoE attack. It's different from the other guys. Shit, 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 shit. Let's put a column in between us. Uh, I'm gonna get hurt just trying to do this. Forget the boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get me. Although you can block. This might be a dumb idea. Yeah, it's a dumb idea. Shield. Is he healing? He's a caster. But... <laughs> I hit him for a whole bunch. through his legs. Yeah, that took most of, well not most of my S's, but that took a lot of S's, so I don't think that is my, this is not going to be the run, basically, where I do this. In fact, what I might have to do is just make a break for the boss wall, summon Solaire, and just run for the boss, and hope for the best. I'll fight this guy. Because I think I want the experience. Both in terms of souls and I mean experience in terms of experience fighting him. Fighting these guys. Run through the legs. Double tap. Run through the legs. legs. Okay, I can kind of block that. But it's not good for me. If I don't target him, what then? Then I should be able to run away from that attack much more easily. I have a slightly harder time just blocking him though. Apparently he can attack me through the columns, which sucks. So I think if I just watch out for that AoE attack and maybe try to roll away as much as possible. Oh no, you don't! Don't heal! Okay, I can roll backwards when he does AoE. And that's how I get past that. And then all I have to do is... Legs. Legs. Maybe. I can block that. This is a good learning experience. Damn it. These guys are different. The other sentinels, the ones outside, are much easier. And he has... They, both of these guys have tons of souls. Which is really nice. That's the same attack as those other guys. Shit! Get up! Get up! Roll! Okay, we both decided to take some time off. No! Come on, you've got to be shitting me. Come on!
You can't heal twice. Only I can heal. There we go. Alright. Run under his legs. Dodge. I can do this. Okay, that stuff I can block pretty much entirely. It's that AoE that I need to watch out for in the shield slam. So. Read message. Praise the sun. Let's check out Be Wary of Death, Fatty. Need dragon. Need a double dragon. That's what you need. Neon. There's a new double dragon game that came out. I didn't know. I used to play double dragon when I was younger. Awesome game. They made a movie out of it. Terrible movie. But, anyway, so I'm not, this is not going to be the go where I uh, go fight the boss. And I know a little bit about the boss, but I don't know much, so it's going to be a learning experience as well. And as much as I want to just go and fight him now and die, which is not a terrible thing, and I will lose these souls, I kind of want to A, use up the souls. Actually, why don't I just do this? I want to use up these souls, and B, uh, I want to use up this humanity. Even if I lose the humanity, ultimately to invasion or some other crap, so my, I think my plan is solid, is clear the way so I can go summon Solaire and maybe another player, and then uh, make a run for it. So let's level up, and I, of course I can only level up once. Uh, let's level up Attunement, Endurance, Vitality, Strength. I do want Strength, but I don't think I need Strength right now, and it's not going to help me with my weapon currently anyways. In fact, dexterity will. And that's the only thing that will help me. So we'll do vitality because more life is good, why not? And let's go try this yet again. One more time. just bumps into me. That definitely knocks out a bunch of stamina. That's this annoying bump attack. Don't do it, bro. It's not worth it. But you have better things to do, honestly. Watch TV or something. It's much more entertaining than fighting me in this abandoned I don't understand why I can't backstab him. I did block him in time, though. Okay. Whatever, he's dead. He can't hurt us anymore. Unless we respawn. But those giants, fucking giants, they can hurt us. Okay. Let's kill this guy. These guys I'm confident that, for the most part, if I'm careful, I can do. Um without taking damage. The Giants, on the other hand, I'm a lot less confident about. Them. I've never tried kicking these guys, but I have a feeling that, just like the Black Knights, I won't be able to do much damage if I kick them. So, option A, summon Solaire, armor ahead. Uh, option A, go human, summon Solaire, and make a run for the boss. Option B, uh, go human, try to find help, and fight the boss. Option C, wow, there's a lot of messages, good luck. Uh, option C, be wary of trap, try to clear the area so that I can summon Solaire and hopefully summon some human help. And then if I get attacked, try cave. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, and then run for the boss. 
I don't know. None of these options I like. And the worst part is I am going to probably get killed on the boss fight, at least initially. So what I'm going to... So I'm going to lose the humanity anyways. What I really need to do... Come on. What I really need to do, I think... Is just clear this, level up, do whatever. There we go. Um, so I could just level up one more time. And then what I'm thinking about... Actually, I do want to fight this giant because I forgot I can open that gate. So it'll make my life easier. Did I already open that gate? I guess I did. Huh. Well, let's go fight this guy anyways. Sentinel. Uh, no, I didn't open that gate. Okay, I can open that gate, which should make my life a little easier uh, in the long run. In fact, why don't I just do it now and get hit in the process? Ah, sucker. Okay, come this way. So, just makes running through this area a bit easier. Good, I got three hits off of him. Shit, forgot about that! Stupid AoE. I can't see what's going on. Just hit him! Crap, I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, you don't. Shit, he's healing. And he heals fast! Why does he heal so fast? I can't heal that fast. And he can run. Alright, well, fuck it. He can slide on the floor. He's magical, basically, is what I'm gathering. Damn, damn it! Don't get greedy, okay. I think I'm getting better at this. Slightly. Oh, he's healing again. Slightly better at this. The good news is this should let me level up. If I don't die. Trying to roll away. What I need to do is untarget him at the last minute. Heal. Alright. So, yeah. Be able to untarget him at the last possible minute. Come on, how many of these freaking heals do you have? Don't you have... At least that doesn't have a lot of range. Does she have like a limit? Shit. <laughs> Not too good at dodging those attacks. What I need to do is go in once and then leave. And just be very slow and methodical about this whole process. Because right now... It's not working out well for me. Or just punch him in the balls. I mean, it's... Shit! Okay. And the range on that is very low, which is nice. Don't heal. Let me at least fucking kill one of you. Alright, well, that sucked. Uh, 
I don't really want to fight the other one. In fact, if I can just run run away from him, I will do it. So let's see if I can probably I'll probably aggro him in the process. But up we go, upsy daisy. Can he chase me up here? Looks like he can. I could probably drop down on his head and do a, a attack like that, but whatever. Should have enough, almost, to level up, and that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll try again, but probably in another video. So, yeah, this is uh, what I've been doing for a few hours here, is uh, slowly making my way through this freaking, freaking fracking, razz of fracking uh, level. At least I can kill this guy with a fireball really easily. <laughs> so I was saying, god damn it. down your shield. It's not worth it. Whatever you're thinking of. Alright. This should theoretically be enough for me to level up. Theoretically. In theory. I hope. Ideally. Please. Freaking close. Alright, I'm gonna have to kill one more guy. I'm gonna kill this. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can use fireball. So it really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who I kill. As long as I get my bloodlust fulfilled. There we go. Pyromancy makes this so much easier. I was like struggling before and now it's uh, definitely a lot easier. Let's go ahead and level up. Uh, more vitality? Endurance? I'll just do vitality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vitality bars. I think that's pretty good. And uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to put a break in this video. say well what is it uh, I'm gonna put a break in this video and when I come back I am going to uh, see if I can actually make it to the boss and uh, see what I can do I think I'm gonna try my plan of not fighting those Sentinels summoning Solaire and just making a run for the boss wall that's what I'm gonna try and I hope that works I hope Solaire doesn't have to oh, crap I think he has to go through it with me so I think I have to fight the Sentinels so, we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to put a break in this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and these videos and this video in particular. And if you are, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And if not, well then, um, help. I don't know. Don't leave a like. It's up to you. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Leducium, and I'll see you folks next time. Later.